Hey everybody, welcome to Franny's Hair. I am so ready for spring, can you tell? <laughs> anyway, today I'm gonna to be reviewing a bunch of wigs for you from different brands. I think I have three or four different brands, so stay tuned. Okay, so before I get started, just a few things. First of all, if you are liking this content, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. It helps me out with the algorithm. And I really appreciate that you spend your time with me and you write in the comments section. I love getting to know all of you. So thank you for that. Over at FrenniesHair.com, what's happening? First of all, we're having a big sale right now. Almost every brand is on sale. The four brands, I think it's four brands that I'll be showing you today are all on sale. I will have the sale price on the screen as I review each wig. Just know that the sale price is only good for the time of the sale. If you're watching this at a later date, the price may be different. Also, V, my resident stylist, in an effort to service more people, has put together a class called Wigs 101, and it's for the newbie wig wearer or person thinking about purchasing a wig. It goes through measuring your head, choosing a wig grip, all different ways of putting your wig on, um, styling, how to choose a wig, color, all that stuff. And that's going to be on April 13th. She's limiting the class to 10 to 12 people because she wants to be able to give the participants the attention that they'll need. I'll also be there to say hello. If you're interested in taking the class, I'm going to have a link below in the description. And also you can head over to franniesair.com and type ticket into the search bar and that will take you to where you can sign up for the class. There is a bird that keeps flying into the window over here. And I know that one of my customers told me that she had the same thing. And I think she said the thing that worked was spraying the area with Kool-Aid. I'm going to have to check that out. He keeps flying into the window. But I digress. Let's get started with today's wigs. Okay, so let's start with this wig. This is called Single Origin. It's by Beltress, and it's in the color Root Beer Float Blonde. Now, I've had people say to me, can you tell me if a color is cool or warm? So I'm adding that to my reviews. This wig is definitely on the cooler side. It has a lot of platinum and ashy blonde in it but it does have a warmer medium brown rooting here that runs through the wig. And wigs that are on the cooler side but have some warmth are easier for me to wear because I typically look better in warmer colors. So this could be a good wig if you do have a warmer skin tone but you still want a cooler color wig. This definitely leans cooler but has some warmth. Okay, so let's talk about the style. It says, single origin from Beltress is an A-line, shorter in the back, longer in the front, textured new bob with loose layers and soft waves all over. Amongst many similar styles, single origin offers unique characteristics and a particular curl pattern that is the edgiest and contemporary. Temple to temple lace front, extended side mono part, and soft velvet ear tabs create the ultimate comfort wearing experience. So let's take a look at the lace front here. There you go, it's temple to temple. Always well done on Beltress. And you have a side mono part. And all of Beltress's wigs are heat friendly. This is from the Cafe collection. The newer collections, the City and the Lux collections have some different features, but overall, I really like Beltress wigs. All right, so let's take a look at the measurements. The sides, 11 to 12 inches. The nape, 5 to 5 and a half inches. The overall length, 11 to 12 inches. And she weighs 4.3 ounces. Now, I made sure today that I can spin all the way around. You see, I can learn. <laughs> I think this style is so feminine and so pretty. I just spun for you, but I'm going to spin slower so you can actually see the wig and not just my chair spinning. <laughs> so pretty. I love it. Okay. I always forget. <laughs> My measurements, my circumference 21 and a half inches, forehead to chin, I'm um, eight and a half inches, ear to ear, 
I am 11 and a half inches and forehead to nape I am 13 inches and all of my measurements will be in the description below so that you can compare your measurements to how the wig looks on me and how it will look on you also if you don't know how to measure your head in the description below I will have a link to franniesair.com where I show you how to measure your head Okay, I'm going to read you the description of the color root beer float blonde. I know I told you already what I think of it as far as cool and warm, but I want you to see Beltress's intention with this color. It says, root beer floats color reflects the blend of light pearl blonde, ash blonde, beige blonde, champagne blonde, and platinum blonde hint. The natural combination of light and medium brown root complements delicious root beer float blonde's colors. Yum. <laughs> That's, it actually says yum there. Um, so when I think of a root beer float, it does have that darker color in it, which is the rooting here and that warmth that I think is added to all those cool blonde tones. All right, let me try on the glasses. Oh, as far as density goes, Beltress is known for being on the lower density end, and I would say that this is lower density. I don't feel a lot of permatease. There may be a tiny bit here not sure uh, maybe we'll be able to see it when we look at the cap but if there is any it's not a lot as far as how the cap fits me this is fitting me perfectly I think that I could even tighten it up a little bit so we'll look at where the adjusters are when we look at the cap all right now let's try on the glasses okay under the ear tabs no problem whatsoever and maybe that's because I can tighten this a little bit over the ear tabs, no problem also. And let's take a look at those ear tabs and the coverage. I had somebody ask me, where do you want your ear tabs to fall? Do you want them over your ears, behind your ears? I like them to cover as much as possible here and end at the top of my ear. This one does end right at the top of my ear. So I'm going to say the reason that my glasses underneath the ear tab didn't bother me is because I do have some room here and I could tighten my cap a little bit. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so there's the ear tab. Comes down here this far. I get good coverage with it. And I do have my hair grows out forward a little bit more. Anything with gray is my own. Um, but you can see how far down it comes there. All right, let's take this color outside. Okay, it's starting to get nice outside. You can see here the color root beer float blonde, and you can see those light ashy blondes, but there is some warmth in there. Still on the cooler side though. Few different styles. One side up with the barrette. Okay, this is new for me, headbands. I got these on Amazon, very comfortable. I like to do it with the tendrils hanging out and just keeping it nice and loose. Pulling both sides back. And another thing the tendrils do is they kind of just hide that hairline there. And putting it up in the back with just one side down. And the reason I'm showing you styling of this wig is I realize that so many people are afraid to play with their wigs and make them their own. And actually, I was one of those people too. I just put the wig on and combed it through in the beginning and I... I was afraid to do anything with it, but the more you make it your own, the more comfortable and confident you feel in it. So feel free, you know, style, style just like you would your own hair. Okay, so let's take a look at the cap. All right, here we go. So you have your temple to temple lace front, your mono part, which does extend back to the crown area there, open wefting, you have your velvety ear tabs with metal stays in it and the hair spliced in there. You have a regular nape here, it's not an extended nape. And the adjusters, which are the bra strap type closure 
and these are pretty much adjusted all the way out but as I said I could have tightened it a little bit for myself so this definitely goes to an average and maybe even slightly larger okay so there you go that single origin in root beer float blonde okay meet san francisco in coolest ash brown so i know a lot of you have been asking for cool brunettes this is a cool brunette i don't know if you can see that there uh i would say on the cooler side but still some warmth again uh, it's described as unrooted combination of light ash brown cool medium brown with a hint of dark blonde subtle highlights so hopefully you can see that all there. I really like this style. I took this out of the box, put it on. This is what it looked like, which is not exactly what the stock photo looks like. So I'll put that up here so you can just compare the two. But I'm sure if yours shows up looking like that, you can do this by just styling this off of your face. I really like it like this. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, so this is a short easy throw on and go wig the measurements the sides are six inches the nape one and a half inches the overall length six inches the side bang three inches so I don't know this seems a little bit longer than three inches to me because three inches I would not normally have to trim but you could make a bang and you could trim a bang into this if you wanted to I really like it swept off the face. I think that's really smart looking. And she weighs just 2.3 ounces, heat friendly, monofilament part, extended lace front. So let's take a look at those features. Okay, so your lace front and your monofilament part. So pretty. I'm going to spin and show you the style. And as far as how she's fitting, she's actually fitting quite snugly. I would not need to take her in at all. Uh, this is probably how I would wear her. So we will take a look at how it's adjusted when we look at the cap. All right, glasses. Under the ear tabs, I would feel that. Over the ear tabs, perfectly fine. Very easy to get over the ear tabs. Let's take a look at the ear tabs while we're at it. Okay, so here you go. Here's your ear tab, and you can see my hair coming out in front a little bit. That happens on most wigs, but this is good coverage. There you go. Okay, so let's take it outside and take a look at the color outside. Okay, so here we are, coolest ash brown. Hopefully you can see that. I'll try turning so you can see in different lights. Hopefully I didn't make you dizzy. I might fall over. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at the cap. The other day I was at a party and somebody came up to me and said, you're the wig lady? She hadn't realized I was wearing a wig. She was like, can I feel that? People are so interested to see. Does it feel different? And, of course, it doesn't. It feels like hair. All right, so let's take a look at the cap. There you go. You have your extended lace front from ear tab to ear tab. Your mono part, again, going all the way back to the crown, which is really nice. Oh, I didn't mention, I don't feel any permatease in this. If there is any, it's very little. Open wefting. Uh velvety ear tab with the metal stays nice metal stays extended nape and velcro adjusters and these are adjusted in somewhat you can see that there so that's why it was fitting me well it would go out definitely to an average okay so that's san francisco part of the new city collection in coolest ash brown okay meet london high tea from the cafe collection in English toffee, definitely a warm color, a lot of hair for me. <laughs> but if you're looking for long hair, this could be a great wig for you. Also, if you're looking for bangs, this has the bangs cut in and we'll talk about the measurements. So let's talk about the style. 
London high tea. The tradition is still quintessentially British. Many Brits still make time to sit and enjoy the etiquette and civility of this, the quaintest of English dining customs. We miss the slower pace of life and wish we had the time and the mindset to enjoy what life offers. The demands for wispy, slightly longer pre-cut bangs are high. Wispy pre-cut bang with the option of half moon lace front to wear the hair behind the ear. Oh, we'll have to look at that. Bangs may have once been a rash decision born out of lockdown era boredom, but they have since become a significant player in haircuts. These asymmetrical bangs make a striking visual impact, but they also create the illusion of a softer face. Notice the updated, lightly blunt and deconstructed modern beach wave. Okay, so a lot of thought went into this style and the bangs. So let's look at the asymmetric bang. It does get longer toward the side here and shorter in the middle. So you could wear a bang. And this says it has deconstructed blunt waves. I'm going to spritz it with a little bit of water just to, because I did brush through it and I want to just try to show you the waves a little bit more. There we go. And you can separate them out. And you don't have to use just water. You can also use a sea salt spray. Yeah, you can see it's starting to come out there. I love using water. Okay, I just squirted myself in the face and the whole camera. I don't know if it's raining on you guys or what. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yes, yeah, so you can see more of the waves there. Really pretty. Okay, let's talk about measurements. The sides, 15 to 16 inches. Hopefully you can see that all. The nape, eight and a half to nine inches. The overall length, four to 16 inches. She weighs 5.5 ounces. And I'll spin, show you the whole style. And then I wanna take a look at the half moon lace front. I didn't pay attention to that before. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look at the lace front. Here you go, you can see that there. And it says it's half moon, so you can tuck the hair behind your ears. But I don't know, I would still notice this. So it doesn't seem to help for me. We'll take a look at what it looks like in the cap. And then here you go, your part there. As far as density goes, I would say this is definitely a medium density wig. And as far as how it's fitting me, I would say it's fitting me well. I wouldn't need to adjust it. Let's try on the glasses. Under the ear tabs, seems fine. Over the ear tabs, that works too. Okay, let's take a look at the ear tabs. So you can see the coverage here comes down to my ear. You can still see some of my hair, but my hair does grow forward more than most people's. You can see it on both sides there. All right, let's take this color outside and then we'll look at the cap. Okay, this is English toffee and you can see the auburn in there. This is definitely a warmer color. There is nothing cool about this color. So if you want warm, this could be a great brunette for you. And it doesn't have a ton of red, but there is that auburn highlighting. You can see there. Okay, so let's take a look at the cap. All right, so you can see that it does have an extended lace front, ear tab to ear tab. I'm not sure what they mean by a half moon, honestly. Just looks like an extended lace front to me. Here is your part, it's a center part. It goes pretty far back, it's narrow, so you're gonna have to keep your part in that area. Again, I don't really feel permatease. I think Beltress is very low on permatease, if any. Open wefting, uh, velvety ear tabs with the metal stays, not an extended nape, and the adjusters are all the way out on this one. And this one fit me well. So I'm going to say this might be even slightly tighter than average. Very interesting. All right, 
That is London high tea in English toffee. Okay, meet Kate. This is by Noriko in the color Irish Spice Rooted. Definitely a warm color. I think it's showing up brighter in the camera than it is in person, so we'll take it outside and take a look at it. As soon as I put this on, I was like, this is adorable. And this is a basic wig, so it's going to be less expensive. Um, one thing I wanted to say, a lot of times when you get a basic wig, there's permatease up here, and you may be able to see it through the wig there. Uh, and that's to hide the wefting and also add some volume. So in the designer classes we've been taking, they've been using a wire brush a lot. And this really, I think, is better than a comb at the part area. And if you just lift those fibers off, you take away that look of that permatease there. So, you know, even if you should get a wig where you see the permatease, it's not the end of the world. There are things that you can do. I just wanted to show you that. In any case, I put this on. <laughs> I was in the kitchen and my son goes, you look like the love interest from Megamind. I, know, I don't watch Megamind. I don't even know who that is, but he showed me a picture. I could see the resemblance. <laughs> it's so funny what people see when they look at different styles. All right, so let's talk about this. Irish Spice Rooted. So it's a brownish red with copper highlights. Definitely warm. There's no question there. Nothing cool about this wig. The style, Kate, is described as a short length synthetic wig. The straight ready to wear wig is a geometric fringed bob complemented by razor finished tiers and arched ends for a stunning and silhouette style. This style will give you a very sophisticated energy. This look is also very youthful and actually timeless. Kate is machine made with adjustable tabs in the back nape area to allow a more comfortable fit. Okay, so um, let me just tell you the measurements then I'm gonna show you the style. I am really liking this one. I am considering keeping this one. I'm gonna decide if I wanna keep it in this color or get another color. You guys tell me what you think. All right, so uh, the crown here is 4.7 inches. The nape, three and a half inches. The fringe, 5.9 inches. So that would be these shorter fringes here. And she weighs just 2.54 ounces. Density-wise, definitely medium density, definitely permatease. So if you're a person who doesn't like permatease, you're not going to like this wig. Uh, I personally don't mind permatease. I think that it helps in certain styles and it helps to hide the wefting and it doesn't bother me at all. But just so you know, Noriko also tends to run smaller and this is fitting me perfectly. I haven't adjusted it. So we'll look at where the adjusters are and see if this can go to an average or not. Also, I notice when you do have more permatease, there is more itching. So if you're sensitive, you may want to wear, they have bamboo caps, all different caps that you can wear. I'm not so sensitive, but I could tell that this would be itchier, let's say, than the bell tress wigs that I just had on. All right, let me spin and show you the style. Really adorable. I'm loving this. Okay, let's try the glasses on with this. If you can't tell, I have a stool next to me with all my tools here. <laughs> all right, glasses fit underneath, no problem, which leads me to believe the ear tabs are shorter. We're going to take a look at that. And over the ear tabs, also no problem. And just know I can't see a thing when I have those glasses on because I have my contacts in. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the ear tabs. So they're coming, well, they're coming right to the top of my ear, but I was able, well, there's a little space. I was able to fit my glasses in that space right there. And as far as, you know, I still have that hair coming forward a little bit, but with this, the way it hangs, I don't feel that would be an issue at all for me. It's, it's good coverage. I would say that's good coverage there. Okay. And let's take a look at this color outside. Okay, so here is Irish Spice Rooted. Well, maybe it is as bright as it looked in the camera. There's no doubt that it's a red. 
and I'm trying to hit all colors because I've had so many questions. Can you show reds? Can you show brunettes? So I'm trying to get all of you in. And just a quick styling thing. I would probably put her behind my ear on one side like that. Really cute. You could put her behind both ears if you like. You could definitely get some volume out of this lady. However you want. Or you could really tamp her down. So many things you can do with a wig. Make sure you get your hands in there and really make it your own. All right, let's look at the cap. So you can see here it's a basic cap. There's no lace, no monofilament, open wefting. There's permatease in here, as I said. It's a fabric ear tab. It's not velvet or felt. Hopefully you can see it there. And the metal stays. I'm trying to feel them. I'm not really. Oh, there it is. There's the metal stay. It's up here. And I would say they're more uh, bendy, flexible than some others. Yeah, they're right in there. That's nice. And then you have your extended nape. And this is pretty much your bra strap closures here. It's pretty much extended all the way out. So I'm going to say this is for a smaller head. If you're average, depending on your ear to ear and front to nape, you may be able to get it on, but it's definitely a tighter wig. All right, so there you have it. This is Kate in Irish Spice Rooted. And one other thing you can do with short wigs, I'm learning so much from the ladies on my Facebook group. If you haven't joined, head over, private Facebook group, Franny's Hair. We have... 2,600, 2,700 women over there showing pictures of themselves in wigs, styling, giving tips and tricks, and really supporting each other on the wig journey. We have our wig experts there. I'm over there. Come join us. It's a lot of fun. I'll have a link in the description below. But I've seen a lot of ladies with short hair using headbands. How cute. I think I'm going to start wearing some headbands. I'm going to step out of my usual box. <laughs> join me doing that. All right. On to the next. Okay, another basic cap from Noriko. This is Noor in Icy Caviar. Definitely a cool color. It's basically a black with, I can't tell if that's a silver or a white running through it there. And it doesn't really give a description of the color in the color chart on the swatch. For whatever reason, the manufacturer didn't give us a description. But basically, it's a black with a few little streaks there. I love this style. The color may be a little bit dark for me. I'm trying to show you every color that I can. But this style, I really like. It's a pixie that's flippy and wispy. Uh, the, the style's described as a short-length synthetic wig. This straight, ready-to-wear wig, this is definitely throw-on-and-go, is short pixie style. With its flips, texture, nor is fun and feminine to wear. She's machine made with adjustable tabs in the nape, and this is fitting me just like the other one, snugly. I'm going to say, if you have a small head, check out Noriko. It's a great brand for you. If you have a large head, they have a few wigs in large size, and other than that, I would say Noriko is not for you. Again, the density on this is at least medium, and there's permatease up here. You can really fluff this up, get volume out of it. You can put it behind your ears. Really cute style. You could wear the bangs down. I will try to leave them. They're a little bit long for me. I'd have to snip them a little bit. Uh, so much you can do with this. It's a basic cap, so you don't have a lace front or a mono part or anything. So you're going to want to have the bangs down to cover that harsh line there. As far as the measurements go, the crown is 4.3 inches. The nape. 2.4 inches, the fringe 4.3 inches, and she weighs 2.1 ounces, so she's light. The density really comes from not a ton of hair, but just from the feeling of the permatease in there. All right, let me spin and show you this style. Really cute. And let's take a look at the ear tabs while we're at it before we put the glasses on. You can see here it comes down to my ear. I think you get pretty good coverage there. 
Yeah. I love the wispiness of this. Okay, the glasses underneath the ear tabs, I would feel that. Over the ear tabs, let me get it over the ear tab. No problem whatsoever. And let's take icy caviar outside. Okay, I think you can really see the contrast here better. You have that dark black, I would say, with, I can't tell yet if this is white or silver. Maybe it's both. Um, let me take you around back. Look at the style, really adorable. Okay, I misspoke in the intro when I said every brand I'm showing is on sale. This is Henry Margu, and uh, as you probably know, it only goes on sale a couple of times a year, so these aren't on sale right now. This is one of my, if not my favorite, Henry Margu wig. It's Avery. I've shown it before, but probably in a different color. This is 88GR, definitely a warm color. It's described as light wheat blonde with dark strawberry blonde highlights and medium brown root. So you can see that there. Okay, so Avery is really just an everyday great style. I love this layer in the front here. I love the way it falls. It's low density and it feels very natural. I do have some extra room in the cap here, even though the circumference is fitting. So I would say it fits Definitely an average size head. We'll look at where the adjusters are. It's fitting me comfortably right now. Measurement wise, the back is four to nine and a half inches. The nape is four inches. The overall length, 11 inches. The bang, eight and a half inches. It's the length of my face. Ear length from ear tab, six and a half inches. The top, four to 10 and a half inches. The sides six and a half to nine and a half inches, and she weighs 3.3 ounces. Let's look at her lace front here. She has a lace front, a mono part. Oh, and I forgot to mention before, the Noriko wigs I showed you are not heat friendly, and neither are the Henry Margu wigs that I'm going to show you. You can still use the heat of your hands. Some people do use steam. You have to be very careful. The manufacturer does not recommend using any heat on these fibers. These fibers feel silky smooth. The Henry Margu fibers are really nice, and this is a low density piece. Uh, I don't know if I feel any permatease at all in here. If I do, it's not much at all. This is just such a beautiful style. I'm going to spin for you and show you the style. To me, this is kind of girl next door. Throw it on, go. Really don't have to do anything to it. Of course, you could pull it back, you know, in different ways to style it, put a headband in it. But I would probably just wear it like this and behind my ear like that. Good to go. All right, let's look at the ear tabs. The ear tabs, it's good coverage down to my ear there. And actually, it looks... Pretty good coverage up here. May still have a little bit of my hair coming out there. Yeah, nice. Now I know because this is not heat friendly, it is shinier and some people don't like that. Even though people are getting their bio hair glazed these days to make it shiny, um, you can take down the shine by soaking it in cold water. You can use a dry shampoo. And then over time, Wigs do tend to lose that shine anyway. All right, let's try the glasses on. Under the ear tabs, no problem. Over the ear tabs, no problem. <laughs> well, that's easy. I may just wear this one today. I really like it. All right, let's take it outside and look at the color. Okay, so here we go, 88 GR. You can see that medium brown rooting there some strawberry blonde and wheat blonde and hopefully you can see that there I'm trying to turn in all the lights so you can see it there you go you can see some of the strawberry when i do that
Okay, let's take a look at the cap. So, the lace front is ear tab to ear tab. We have a center part here. Oops, I'm pushing the hair through the wefts. You have open wefting, velvety ear tabs, really nice metal stays, extended nape, and the Velcro adjusters are adjusted in. So this was fitting me well. This will definitely go to average to even a bit larger than average. Okay, so this is Avery and 88GR. Okay, if I didn't mention Avery and 88GR is definitely a warm color. Meet Michelle or Michelle, it's spelled with one L, in color number 37, which is described as a light brown mixed gray on top, graduating to medium brown mixed gray in back. So you can see the graduation of the color there. And a lot of people ask me for brunettes mixed with gray. So this is a great color that actually does this. And I love this style. I had this style on before, I think, when I went to visit Henry Margu. And I think this is just an adorable short style. You have some layers here. You have these longer pieces here that you can wear down over your ears like this if you like, or you can put it behind your ear really easily on both sides or just one side. You have a mono top here, a lace front. Let me show you the lace front. And the mono top, which means you can part it anywhere you like. And let me tell you the measurements. The back is three inches to four and a half inches. The nape is three inches. The bang is four inches. So you could definitely wear your bang down. Really cute. For some reason, with the bang down, I like to put hair behind both ears. I don't know what that's about. Uh, length from the ear tab, five and a half inches. The top, three inches to five and a half inches. The sides three to four and a half inches, and she weighs just 2.05 ounces, so very light. Um, I do think there's some permatease in here, and again, I have room in the cap right here. So, um, you know, if you have larger measurements than me, ear to ear and forehead to nape, uh, this may fit you more tightly up here. It doesn't bother me at all, but I do have extra space there. As far as how the cap fits, she's fitting me comfortably. We'll look at where it's adjusted to. And let's look at the ear tabs here. I like this hair that's here. Becomes your sideburn. Um, the ear tabs, there's space there, so I'm going to say I can probably fit the glasses under there. And Comes pretty far forward though. Might even be covering my hair going forward, which is very rare. Yeah, there you go. And this again is part of the wig. I love that. All right, let's try the glasses on. Under the ear tab. I don't, well, I can feel it. I think I would prefer it over the ear tab. It seems to hit right at the bottom of the ear tab and kind of push it up. So I would definitely wear it over the ear tab. All right, let's take 37 outside. Okay, so here's 37 and definitely a cool toned color. You have the gray graduating to the uh, brown brunette color. And let me show you the back. Hopefully I'm getting a good idea of the color in the video there. Okay, let's take a look at the cap. All right, so you have an extended lace front, ear tab to ear tab, a full mono top, velvety ear tabs with the metal stays, open wefting, extended nape, and the adjusters are adjusted in quite a bit. I'm going to say that this goes average, even larger than average. So Henry Margu does tend to run larger. So just like Noriko is for your small headed woman in general, I would say Henry Margu is average to even a little bit larger. Now I have 21 and a half inch circumference and I'm really considered petite to average and I can wear them just fine, but these definitely can go larger. So there you go, Michelle or Michelle, however you say that, in 37. Okay, meet Devin by Aesthetica in R610. So that is a 
dark or medium brown to a light brown. Here you go. Hopefully you can see that there. Definitely a warmer color. I wouldn't call this a cool color. Um, the second I put on this cap, I don't know how Aesthetica does it, and I know I've heard it from so many women. Their caps are just really comfortable. Now, I don't have extra space in here, but there's a lot of stretch I'm going to show you. This is a pure stretch cap. It doesn't have a lace front or monofilament, so they get a lot of stretch. You can go above an average size head in these, so uh, there's a lot of stretch. All that to say, there's a lot of stretch. All right, this is Devin and she's described as a super cute bob that is versatile and wonderfully comfortable truly comfortable beautiful wispy layers frame the face for a style that you can dress up or keep casual so you can see the layers here and of course i would probably stick behind my ear like that let me just put my ear tabs in the right place okay and let's look at the measurements the crown 5.25 inches the sides 5.5 the nape three inches, the bang three and a half inches. So I could probably just snip it a tiny bit if I wanted to wear the bang, but you could definitely wear the bang with this. And she weighs just 2.65 ounces. And there's definitely permatease in here, hiding the wefting, and she's medium density. She's not a low density wig at all. Again, with permatease, I do find permatease to be slightly itchy, so I just want to put that out there. You can let me know what you think. Have you noticed that? Um, I know a lot of women will just wear a wig cap so that they don't feel that. All right, let me show you the style. And you can see here that it's just a basic front, no monofilament. With the dark hair, I don't think you can really tell. And let's take a look at the ear tabs here, the coverage. Comes all the way to my ear there. I don't know if you can see. Let me try to move this forward. It's pretty good coverage there. Look at the other side as well. Yeah. I still may have a little bit of hair coming forward, but... Good coverage. Let's try the glasses with this. Under the ear tabs, I would feel that. Over the ear tabs, totally fine. Okay, let's look at this brunette lady outside. Okay, this is R610. Hopefully you can see, I'm just gonna turn here. And you should see some medium, darker side of medium brown and then some light brown in there as well. Oops, I don't know where I'm going with this camera. Okay, let's take a look at the cap. Just the way I took it off, the stretch on this. I have to show you the stretch because you can just feel it when you're putting it on. There's just so much stretch in this cap. So it's very comfortable. All right, so here you can see it's a basic front. There's definitely permatease in here. You have open ear tabs with the hair spliced in and open wefting. This has an open extended nape and the adjusters. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't even notice this. The adjuster wasn't even adjusted on this one. So I'm going to adjust it. I'm just going to put it on the last adjustment. That's interesting. This one was not, did not even have the adjusters in and yet it stayed on okay yeah so if I put it on with the on the ends I mean I could wear it this way I don't feel like it's loose at all it's really very interesting let me try moving it in a little and seeing what that's like I'm gonna move it in uh, two notches on each side yeah, that fits me just fine, too. So somehow, the way that it stretches, it can fit me adjusted anywhere and just so comfortable. It's really an amazing cap. I don't quite understand it. <laughs> okay, Meet Jones, probably Aesthetica's most popular wig. I, I put this on 
my Facebook group the other day, and I can't tell you how many people underneath put pictures of themselves in Jones. And it was interesting because they all look different on everybody. So it's just an easy throw on and go style, a basic wig, not heat friendly. This is in RH 1488, which is one of their, I would say, cooler blondes, but it still has a lot of gold in it, which you can see there. This one is not rooted. Jones does have permatease. I think you can even see it a little bit there. So again, what I like to do is just get those fibers off the cap, you know, get them up so that you don't see that permatease as much. And this is just all part of playing with your wig. There we go. And of course, I like to wear it behind my ear. Just a really cute style. Okay, let's read about the style. It's all about cool and casual with Jones, which I agree. This shoulder length style features choppy layers all throughout the back and sides for a textured, messy look that has a laid back, carefree vibe without even trying. That's exactly how I would describe this. It's such a great style. It is shinier, especially the blondes in the non heat friendly, but again, you, there are things you can do about it if you don't like the shine. I don't mind the shine, but some people do. Okay, so the crown is seven inches. The side, 7 inches. The nape, 4.75 inches. The bang, 4.25 inches. So if I wanted to wear a bang, I would just snip it a little bit, but this would be really cute with the bang. And she weighs 2.96 ounces. She feels very light. I'm going to spin for you and show you the style. I think V said I look like a soft rocker or something like that in this. I can't remember her terminology, but I thought it was good. Uh, let's take a look at the ear tabs. So they come down to here. And as far as coverage goes, I think it's pretty good. This is me here, this gray stuff. I really should maybe do something. But, you know, it's hard for me to decide to do something color-wise with that. I haven't been coloring my hair at all because I wear so many different color wigs. So I could try using a root powder or something if I wanted to. Usually I just try to keep it covered up. You wear the wigs the way it works for you. There you go. And you could totally pull back in a cute little barrette or put in a headband, stuff like that. All right, let's try the glasses on. Okay, totally fine under the ear tabs, totally fine over the ear tabs. She's fitting me very comfortably. Again, she's a pure stretch cap, and these are very comfortable caps. Definitely permatease, as I showed you in the top here, and medium density. All right, let's look at this color outside. Okay, so you can see this is a platinum blonde. Definitely has coolness to it and gold. I'm going to say, and I always consider gold or yellow on the warmer side, so that's why I'm hesitating to call this a really cool color. I don't want you to think you're going to be getting something really cool if you get this. The ponies are watching me. <laughs> There's our ponies, Red and Shoko. They both have better hair than me. <laughs> Okay, and the last wig of the day is Hudson, and this is in R24 for all of you ladies who like a really dark brown. Two and four are your dark browns, two is your darkest, four is a little bit lighter. I think this is a little bit dark for me, but I wanted to show the color. This is Hudson. She has a full mono top and a lace front, which I'm going to show you. Let's talk about the style first. Hudson is perfect for any occasion. She is a classic and feminine style with soft, subtle layers that create a simple and sleek look. Designed with a monofilament top and lace front, Hudson's styling options are endless. So let's look at the lace front here. Show you that there. And she has a monofilament top, so you can part her anywhere. These longer wigs are hard for me to part anywhere, so I'm going to just try to pull that up and show you. Hopefully you can see that there. 
Okay. <laughs> Let's look at her measurements. Her crown is 18 inches. The sides, 11 inches. The nape, 8.5 inches. The bang, 10 inches. You can see that there. And she weighs 4.94 ounces. Uh, I would say I feel some permatease around here. Certainly not on the top where there's a monofilament top. And density-wise, I would, I would say she's medium density. All right, let me show you the style. I actually really like this style. I have it in R302826, the red color. I love it. Okay, and let's look at the ear tabs. Again, good coverage. I, my hair comes forward a little bit, but nice coverage down to the ear there. And we'll try the glasses on. Don't feel it under the ear tabs or over the ear tabs. Again, Aesthetica will fit an average to slightly larger than average head. Uh, there's room in this. I actually, when I first put it on, it was way too loose, so I adjusted it in, and I'm going to show you where I adjusted it to when we look at the cap. And still, I think I could adjust it in even a bit more. So this one, Hudson, could definitely go for a larger head. All right, let's take a look at the color outside. Okay, so here you go. There's two colors of dark brown in here. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, let's take a look at the cap. All right, so you have a, an extended lace front, ear tab to ear tab, a full mono top, open wefting. The uh, ear tabs, I, did I show them on the other wig? The ear tabs on Aesthetic are not velvety. They're a fabric, and they have metal stays. You have your open extended nape, and you can see how far I pulled these adjusters in. They're the bra hook type adjusters there. They use the bra hook closures up until their new heat friendly line where they added the Velcro adjusters. So that's that that would be the same in Jones in case I didn't show that to you. Okay, and that is Hudson in R24. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed those reviews. If you have any questions at all, put them in the comments below. Come over to my private Facebook group, Franny's Hair. My wig experts are over there. I'm over there. We can answer any questions you have. And also, it's just a really great group of people, so come join us. I'll have a link in the description below. Don't forget to check out these wigs and others and all the sales going on over at Franny'sHair.com. And as always, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own, and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.